Hello guys, today I want to show you a package to integrate WordPress blog into your Laravel project. The package is called Corsel, and this is one of the ways how you can integrate the blog into Laravel. First, before demoing the package, let's discuss what are our options. Imagine the scenario that you have your web application, Laravel application, and the marketing team wants to write a blog with new features, new releases, or it may be tutorials, or it may be even help articles, but essentially it's a blog. And quite often I get the question, what is the best Laravel package to create a blog? And in my opinion, WordPress is still by far the best platform to write articles. To recreate that in Laravel would be quite a huge job and you wouldn't get even close to the WordPress editor with media manager with tags and all the automation it has, especially if the blog articles would be written by non-technical people like marketing team. So they need to deal with WordPress and you have WordPress installed on your server, assuming it's the same server, but you have Laravel project and into Laravel project you need to integrate the blog. What are the options? Option number one could be separate subdomain blog.something.com and then you just install WordPress there and it lives like a separate animal on the same system and you can partly combine the design so header and footer so it would look roughly similar. But then there's a problem, what if you want those headers and footers to work with Laravel functionality, like show the logged in user, for example, show the menu items, show some dynamic data, which WordPress doesn't have as a feature. So this possibility is better for those who want WordPress blog to be totally separate, just roughly visually similar, or even not similar, maybe just a separate blog. But if you want them to combine more closely, you could use a package like Corsel. So I've installed it locally. Here's my WordPress installation, wordpress.test, just a default WordPress with some fake articles. In the database, I have usual WP posts as a separate database called WordPress. So it's a separate world, but I have also Laravel project, which should have a blog here. So separate section blog, the whole project is Laravel based on Laravel breeze, but you need to integrate the blog. So you would have the articles list and then click the article and see the content. So the articles aren't actually physically in your database. They are in a separate database, assumingly on the same server, and then you just download them from there. You could of course use WordPress API directly and query WordPress API every time. So that's one way to do that manually. Also, you could synchronize the WordPress database into your database somehow. So for example, WP posts, replicate those into post table with post model in your Laravel project. But both of those seem too much work. That's why Corsel is one of the most popular solutions. And let me quickly demonstrate you how it works. To install Corsel, you just install like any typical Laravel package. Then you set up the database and this is the most important part. So in your config database, you would have a typical MySQL for your local project, for your Laravel application, but then you would set up a separate connection. By default, it is called WordPress. And then you specify which database on which host and those credentials. So in my case, I replicated exactly that connection MySQL and then connection WordPress. With database name WordPress, in my case, it's on the same local server. It could be actually remote, just slower probably. Then in your config of course, you specify that connection name, which is again the default WordPress, this array key, and then how to use that thing, you just have the post model. You can use post model by course, or you can override it with your own post class. Let's take a look. So in the routes web, I have blog controller. So blog controller index and blog controller show. In the controller, I have use model post. So I don't have eloquent model of post. I'm using Corsel model, but the usage is kind of like eloquent model. So I get the post published latest paginate by five. If I want an exact post, I do post fine. And then the whole work is actually just reading the documentation of Corsel and see what methods and what parameters are available. But it looks really, really similarly like you would have eloquent model. Something like scopes, something like find, something like 
metadata. For example, you can do post meta link to get the meta value. Then you can query has meta. Also what we can do field aliases, custom scopes, newest orders, pagination, advanced custom fields are even supported. So you can read the documentation of Corsal and find out more. What I wanted to show you is just the mechanism and the logic how it could work. In my opinion, it's probably the easiest way to integrate the WordPress blog into your Laravel project. I wish I had known that package back then when we were building the blog of Quick Admin Panel. So we have Quick Admin Panel as a tool to generate Quick Admin Panel. And then there is a blog menu item which leads to separate instance of WordPress with articles. So probably if I started to do that now, I would use Corsel to make a seamless integration with the same design and the same look and feel with links to internal Laravel system. That's all I wanted to tell you today about Laravel and WordPress integration. If you have experience with that and want to share that with others, shoot in the comments below, subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.